This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. So it'd be like seasteading on steroids, or federalism on steroids, where you could have a communistic system if you wanted to, you could have a libertarian system, an anarchy, any number of different systems could be tried, and there's no, uh, no other entity above it that has jurisdiction currently. This is probably all possible with today's technology. It's not yet practical because it's not yet profitable. But once you're there, once you've got even a prototype smaller space station, uh, a little further away from the Earth, that's a place from which you can launch to any other place. That's the big advantage that it has. Any space station that's spinning at, say, half a gravity, so that the edges of the space station, you're walking around on the edges, you know, uh, with your head facing toward the inside of the space station, say that's half a gravity. Well, if you were to uh, drop a spaceship out of any of those, uh, you know, out of the uh, the edge of the spaceship, it would just proceed forward at half a gravity in any number of different directions. So you could probably just use the space station to aim a spaceship at Titan or Jupiter or Mars or anywhere you wanted to go, and it would already have a certain amount of free speed. Like the moon, of course, you could fly in a, uh, an environment like this. It wouldn't, you wouldn't have to strap on wings. You'd just float in the middle of the of the uh, the habitat if you wanted to. People with heart conditions could live in whatever uh, gravity is best for them. Once you're on one of these platforms, it's very easy to get to other platforms in the Earth vicinity. Someone once said that uh, humans uh, are living in a womb. They live in wombs. Uh, the womb is basically a planet right now. Uh, the average baby, if they wanted a new womb, or if they wanted a new home, they would imagine a new bigger womb uh, with you know, more goodies or something like that. But the reality is humanity is probably better suited for orbiting colonies than it is for planets. This assumes the colony is properly, uh, you know, conditioned for habitability. This assumes I'm not missing something, like maybe there's some uh, something in space that's very dangerous that we don't know about yet uh, that would affect an orbiting colony. It's also possible that there's something missing in space which is present on Earth and required for long-term life. But based on what we know now, the idea of going far away uh, to colonize, the idea of going to other star systems especially, it just seems pretty ludicrous over anything like the near term. Probably everything we need is right here in front of the Earth. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. Freekeen.com believes Keen is the best destination for pro-liberty activists like you. Keen is an exciting and challenging ground floor opportunity. Visit move.freekeen.com and read over 108 reasons to move to Keen. Help us free the beautiful little city of Keen from the clutches of the government. Learn why you should move to Keen at move.freekeen.com.